Challenges are an opportunity for growth. And challenges, when we, when we actually face them and we move through them, we, we earn confidence in ourselves. You're listening to Turn Your Soul On Radio. I am your host and visionary doctor, Dr. Brandi Victory, and my mission is to assist high-achieving women in closing the gap between feeling unfulfilled to living a life on fire. It is time, ladies, to champion our own lives and turn ourselves on. This is Living Victoriously, ladies. This is how you turn your soul on. Hey, soul sisters. Thank you so much for being here. Your presence is really appreciated. I, um, every time I look at my analytics, I'm just thrilled every single day because more and more people are, are reach, getting reached with these words that I'm sharing with you over and over again. And, um, it just brightens my heart. It just brightens my heart because my, my, my dream is to bring more light to this planet through my words. And, uh, this is how this is how it gets done, right? This podcast is uh, just doing a podcast has really allowed me to reach uh, reach a whole world that that I wasn't able to reach before. And I just want to thank you for sharing because I know if it if it wasn't for your shares, it wouldn't be getting out there the way it is. I'm I'm just thrilled with the outreach so far. So, and if you know someone who would like to have more self confidence in their life, that's what we're going to be chatting about today. So just pause this real quick and share this episode with them because I'm going to lay down a few great tools for you that um, will help you improve your self-confidence. So um, before we get going, I just want to thank our sponsor, Purium Superfoods. Purium Superfoods is the sponsor of the 10-Day Transformation that I recently went through, and I kind of still am doing it. I'm kind of doing a a partial cleanse, (laughs) a partial 10-Day, because I just feel so good. I do not want, I do not want to lose this feeling. I, I'm on top of the world um, that like, wow, I can't wait. I can't wait to share this with everyone I know. So um, I've actually put together a 10-day transformation group program for women. Sorry, guys. Um, but this group women's transformation is going to start June 2nd and uh, registration ends May 22nd. So go ahead and head on over to drbrandyvictory.com forward slash 10-day. That's 10-D-A-Y, 10-day. And, uh, and check it out because um, we're going to be meeting virtually it doesn't matter where you live, like you can join us. All right. We're going to be meeting virtually every single day through the 10 day. And we're also going to have a pre 10 day call and a post 10 day call or conference, I should say. Um, and just to check in, see, and so you can get prepared and you know what to expect. And then you can also, after it's all over with, like, how's it going for you when it's over? Right. I want you to continue to feel good. So we got to make sure that you're set up for lifestyle of, um, of feeling fabulous. All right. So that's my job. And uh, I'd be happy to serve you in that way. All right. So um, let's talk a little bit about improving your self-confidence. So there's, there's a couple of things. I mean, uh, you know, as we've been talking about in the past couple of episodes, there's this subconscious stuff that gets in the way, our belief systems, our, our limiting thoughts, and, um, you know, the energetics of what we put out uh, get in our way. But then there's also this piece around simply just having better self-confidence, the conf- self-confidence to talk to your significant other about whatever it is on your mind, the self-confidence to stand up um, to your children and be a better parent, the self-confidence to um, ask for more referrals or clients, the self-confidence to go to networking events, the self-confidence to start a podcast. Maybe you want to start a podcast, the self-confidence to do whatever it is that you're really wanting to do in the world so that your dreams become reality, right? If you don't have the self-confidence to step into it, you're just not going to do it. It's going to continue to be a dream and you're just going to wonder if it's ever going to manifest. And it's, it's probably not if you're not willing to step up. And uh, you got to have the confidence to make that happen, right? So one of the primary things that um, I, I, I do for myself <laughs> is um, I put myself in challenging situations, all right, or humbling situations. And, and the thing is, we got to know that challenges are good. Challenges are an opportunity for growth. And challenges, when we, when we actually face them and we move through them, we, we earn confidence in ourselves because we've faced something and we've moved through it and we've succeeded. 
And so that gives us and builds our self-confidence. So putting yourself in challenging situations and just understanding that when you do that, that kind of stress that you put yourself under is a benefit to your growth. All right. So for instance, I just did this 10 day cleanse, right? The 10 day cleanse was, it's a little stressful, right? Because you, I can't have everything. I went grocery shopping and, um, I was buying food for me and Roger, my boyfriend. And I, you know, I was buying him regular stuff cause he wasn't cleansing. And I was realizing, oh my gosh, I, I walked down the coffee aisle and the coffee smelled so freaking good. And I was just like, oh my God, I want a coffee. And I was literally like making excuses about how I could get a black coffee and it would be okay. And and my head was just going in all these places. Right. And of course I didn't have the coffee, but it was like that. Right. And so it's kind of stressful because I was like, dang it, I can't have what I want. Wah. Uh, I couldn't like put my hand in the little uh, bag of bulk stuff that I got out of the bulk section, like the nuts, you know, I wanted some cashews and I couldn't have the cashews and that was stressful. And, you know, you know, um, he's cooking his hamburger steak and I'm over here drinking a green smoothie. That's stressful, right? But it's okay. Like it's okay. It's very okay. And as a matter of fact, it's awesome to put yourself in those situations, right? Because the stress of it and moving through it, which I did, I never had coffee for the whole 10 days and I didn't have any meat for the whole 10 days. And I, yeah, I just did the program like it was supposed to be done and it, and it rocked and I feel freaking awesome because of it, right? And so, yeah, it's putting yourself in stressful situations that allow you to grow. Like that's the number one thing, okay? Another thing that you can do to improve your self-confidence is work out. Like if you're not exercising at all, any kind of body movement will give you better self-confidence because number one, it's going to create hormonal shifts in your body. It's going to feel good. It's also going to create uh, stamina in your mind because you're like, yeah, I did this and that creates self-confidence. So, you know, any kind of movement for those that aren't working out. Now, if you are working out, let's say you, you go to the gym regularly or you go to a yoga class regularly, um, you know, what I'd invite you to do is go to a class that you haven't ever been to. So let's say if you work out with weights regularly, instead of working out with weights tomorrow, go to a body pump class or go to an orange theory class or go to a team training class or go to a tone and sculpt class, something you haven't done before. And most of us like, like our patterns. So we're like, well, I have this routine that I do and it's good. Yeah, it's good. And okay, you got that down. So why don't you stretch yourself a little bit here? Why don't you go do something you haven't done before? And then when you get done, you're going to feel like a million bucks because you actually like made something happen you never did before. And that builds your self-confidence. All right. Now, if you're going to the gym and, um, you know, making yourself work out and that's building your self-confidence, just be sure that you're using, you know, good form and things like that. So you don't injure yourself. All right. So an, the, another the thing is, um, you can do to build your self-confidence is face your fears. All right. So if there's something that you've been fearing, like unfinished business with, uh, a someone in, you know, someone, <laughs> be it a business partner, be it a friend, be it someone that uh, maybe owes you money or maybe you owe money or something like that. And it's kind of unfinished, like face that, like just, just look it right in the eye and, and go for it. Like be upfront with it. If you haven't paid your taxes, pay your taxes, like do whatever you need to do to pay your taxes. Even if you have to pay in installments, whatever it is, pay it off. Right. If there's things that you want to say to your significant other, Like face it, put yourself in that situation and stand up for yourself, like stand up for what you believe in and um, speak your truth and honor your word. Like these are all things that are like, can bring a lot of fear into people. And so they just, most of us, I think most of us anyway, are kind of freeze people. Like my boyfriend, Roger, he, he is a fighter. So if he gets in the face of fear, he runs towards whatever's making him fearful, like he'll run into a fire or he'll run into a a situation where, um, I don't do that. (laughs) I freeze. So if something gets me and I just like, (gasps) I stall out, I freeze. So if I have too much pressure on me to, to do, get something done in my business, I freeze and I don't get it done. And then I create this situation for myself. Right. And so, so if you have that freeze response, This is a really great time to take a look at that and look around where you may be freezing up in your life and then back up, make a plan and move into it. 
and you don't have to move into it really fast. And if you make a plan, at least you can figure out how you want to respond to it, how you want the outcome to be and set your intention for it. So I, I, we'll get into a little bit more about intention setting here in a few minutes, but that's like the primary thing, no matter what, when you're facing your fears is always have an intention. The other thing you can do to improve your self-confidence is work with a coach. So work with someone who's going to help stretch you out of your comfort zone. And that's essentially everything that I'm talking to you about right now. Your self-confidence improves when you stretch yourself. Your self-confidence improves when you step out of your comfort zone and do something uncomfortable. And it takes doing that uncomfortable to improve your self-confidence. Like that's how it works, right? So you got to be a little bit un- okay with being uncomfortable, all right? Work on your consciousness. Work on, work on your beliefs. Like face that stuff, right? So again, facing your fears, stretching your comfort zone. The other thing is, um, as we were talking about a minute ago, um, is, is living an intentional life. So to improve your self-confidence, you want to be able to recognize that things are turning out the way you want them to turn out, okay? And how we do that is we hold intention with all things. So whenever I'm working with somebody before we leave a session, I always open the door for them to set an intention for their week. And more honestly, more times than not, more times than not, I have people like having to think about it. And what I invite you to do is like, set your freaking intention every single day. Like this is what I do. I set my intention. How is my day unfolding? Who is it that I'm working with today? How do I want the outcome of that to be? How do I want to show up for this person? How do I want to be um, in service today? And how do I want to have my own personal time today? Because I I can get lost in that, right? So that's one of my pieces of my intention setting on a day-to-day basis. So hold an intention for all things. This is what we call living an intentional life, all right? So if you like to do prayer work, um, prayer work is an awesome way to live an intentional life. So for me, I had an eating disorder in the past. I had bulimia and obsessive compulsive disorder with food. So one of the things that I did to overcome that was prayer work. So every time I would eat, I would say a prayer. Now I would, I would give thanks for the food. I would give thanks for the farmers that got that grew the food. I would give thanks for the people who drove my food or transported my food to the grocery store. I would give thanks for the people who paid me money so that I could buy this food. I would give thanks for the people who um, prepared the food if I was eating out or, you know, even eating at home, even if I didn't have to prepare my own food. And I, I, I don't prepare most of my food at night. <laughs> right now I'm preparing my food because Rogers and I are eating a little bit of a different diet, but he, he commonly prepares our food and I'm, oh, I'm just so grateful to have that. It's just so wonderful to come home and, and have a, a really nice dinner because goodness knows sometimes if he hadn't prepared my food, you know what I would be eating? I'd be eating chips and dip. <laughs> I wouldn't be eating vegetables and meat. <laughs> so um, I'm really grateful for that. And, and so it's ideally you're just finding the deepest gratitude you can for the, for everything around your food and, and even the nourishment that the food gives you, right? Um, another thing um, it, when it comes to, to living an intentional life is um, setting your, like if you're working with a coach, Set your intention before your session. Set your intention on what you want to work on, what you want the outcome to be. Open yourself up to receive the information for your highest growth. Bless the opportunity to work with that coach. Bless the session. And, and may it be the highest for, and the best outcome for all involved. You know, in, Intentions are magnified. So whenever you set an intention... You're putting out into the field the vibrational frequency of what you want to attract. And so that gets magnified out in the field and comes back to you. So it makes it so, so much easier to realize what you desire um, when you're living an intentional life. The other thing you can do to improve your self-confidence is create state changes. So, you know, we get tied up in our day-to-day hoopla, right? Just going about the hamster wheel. And, uh, before you know it, the day's over and we've just kind of been lost and, um, not really stepping into our powerful selves. Right. So creating a state change means changing your state throughout the day. 
So you can do this with breath work. Like there's a, a really awesome, if you've heard of breath of fire, that's a really great um, in, uh, energizing breath work where you breathe through the belly, like, <laughs> and um, you actually pulse, you contract the belly back really fast and let the breath come out the nose. And uh, the inhale is just a natural inhale, but then you do that kind of fast and it gets your energy going. There's all kinds of different breath work. And I love sharing these with my patients when I work with them, but you know, any kind of breath work will change your state Uh, and, and prayer, obviously, like we talked about before exercise will change your state and it doesn't have to be like a drawn out exercise routine. Okay. So it's just a, a minute or two of exercise can change your state. So a lot of times if I'm sitting down in front of my computer, like I can get in front of my computer and sit there and, and write so much and just be writing, 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 then the day will be gone. And at some point I might hit up against a, a writer's block and I can't think of what to do next, or I'll be confused as to what next steps I need to take. So I'll get up. I actually have a jump rope in my living room right where I work. And I also have a slack line in my living room. (laughs) So I get on the slack line and I walk. And that's actually a little bit of a workout. I'm not very good at it. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about um, starting to video that (laughs) just to give myself accountability, right? Because I need accountability for everything. Um, But we'll see. We'll see where that goes. But nonetheless, I do get on it and it changes my state every time. It makes me feel good and happy and giggly. The jump rope gets my energy moving again. Um, you know, you can do, um, some sit-ups or you can do some squats or you can do some push-ups. you know, any of that stuff. I also like to stand, I like to do inversions like those. That's another way to change your state. So we do have an inversion table. I find that I don't use it all that often. I'd prefer to just do handstands or headstands. So I just kick my legs up with the wall and I lean on the wall if I need to and uh, just do an inversion and that changes my state, right? So any kind of exercise is really great. Um, then other things you can do is take a shower or go for a walk or take some CBD or take some herbs that maybe relaxes the nervous system. Um, you know, I don't really have to say this. Obviously, caffeine will give you more energy, but caffeine is... It can be dangerous, you know. I, I would, I really don't want to encourage you to use caffeine to change your state unless you're just so freaking tired. You need, you have to get through the day. Like caffeine's an okay way to do that, but you know, when you're doing that on a day to day basis and throughout the day, it can become a problem. Um, I have noticed though with uh, CBD, like if I get into a state of anxiousness, the CBD calms me down. But honestly, I've taken. I don't know, six or seven different kinds of CBD. And I haven't really had any results until I found this one um, CBD. It's called Omica, Omica, uh, no, Zomica, Z-O-M-I-C-A, Zomica. And uh, if you go over there and you use the gift card code, Dr. Brandy, you, you could get into discount. I believe they're they're offering that on the CBD. I hope they are. <laughs> um, I know they're offering it on all their other herbs. So if you're looking for like ashwagandha or anything like that, you can use, that's at Omica, O-M-I-C-A.com. Um, it's the same company, but the CBD is going through Zomica, the Zomica site. Anyway, Dr. Brandy, and uh, get your little discount there if you're into it. But it is an awesome CBD product. All right. The other thing you can do is take a nap. So often I... um, I am just like exhausted and I can't think and I get into a little rut and then I get frustrated. And so then if I just go take a nap or go read a book or sit with my cat or play a little game of Candy Crush. (laughs) Sometimes I like doing that. It just changes my state. And I'm like, okay, off to something else. And when I get done, I'm like, okay, I'm refreshed and I'm kind of ready to do something else so I can go, 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 go do that. So change, state changes are so, so essential when you're trying to build your self-confidence, you know, especially like if I'm going to do a Facebook live or a YouTube video or something like that, I am just like, I don't really want to. (laughs) And so I have to do a state change to get myself up to make myself feel like I'm like excited again to do that. And so, um, yeah, I do all the things that I just talked to you about. Uh, Another thing you can do to change your state is to do the 10 day group transformation with me. Oh my gosh. My state is so different today than it was just two weeks ago because of that. And uh, I'm happy to help you navigate the journey of changing your state with a 10 day transformation program. So 10 days is not very much to offer yourself to make a great change in your life. So I'm here for you. Again, you can find more information at drbrandyvictory.com forward slash 10 day.
And until next time, do whatever it takes to turn your soul on. Thank you for tuning in to Turn Your Soul On Radio. If you're finding yourself living a more inspired life because of this show, help spread the light. Share this episode with every woman you know looking to live their lives a little more on fire. I'd also be grateful if you headed over to iTunes and left a heartfelt review, which really helps the growth of the show. I'd also like to invite you to deepen your connection with our community by joining our private Facebook group, Turn Your Soul On. And if you have any other questions, feel free to shoot us an email at admin at drbrandyvictory.com. Thanks so much for being here today, and I'll talk to you next time. May your soul be turned on. This podcast is for information purposes only. Dr. Brandy Victory is not a medical doctor, and the views and statements expressed on this podcast are not medical advice. This podcast, including Dr. Brandy Victory and the producers, disclaim responsibility from any possible adverse effects from the use of information contained herein. Opinions of guests are their own, and this podcast does not endorse or accept responsibility for statements made by guests. This podcast does not make any representations or warranties about guest qualifications or credibility. This podcast may contain paid endorsements and advertisements for products or services. Individuals on this podcast may have a direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to herein. If you think you have a medical problem, consult a licensed physician.